Do you ever meet someone that changes your outlook on your entire day and arguably your entire life? Well, that's what it was like for me to meet this mom as well as her daughter when I decluttered and organized this kitchen. Now, I can't wait to share with you a much longer story about this project. Upon popular request by so many of my followers, I'm creating longer versions of what are usually one minute videos to tell you a bit more about the process of working with our clients and so you'll get a bit more behind the scenes action of just what it's like when I work with clients as a professional organizer. Whenever I first come into a space, I always assess the space and open every drawer, every cabinet to see what's going on and to chat with the client about what their goals are and what's realistic for them. So I found out from our client she had worked with a professional organizer in the past, but some of the systems that had been set up really weren't working for her. She had also accumulated more stuff over the years, so it was going to be really important to declutter. And more than anything, she wanted a functional space that would be easy for everyone in her pretty large family to be able to use on a day to day basis. This really was not only a kitchen, but also the command center for their family. So it had a lot of paperwork regarding the family and, and was really a go to space. I am not a professional cleaner. I always tell people that. However, if I see that a space is really dirty, I am going to take the time to do a light cleaning of the space because I want to make sure that when I put things back, it's in at least a relatively clean state. I always also tell clients that after we do that initial step of decluttering and organizing, getting your home clean is going to be that much easier, whether it's you who's cleaning your home or you hire someone else to do so. So they had the cutest puppies. I just had to take a little video of them. If you all know me, you know I'm a cat lover, but I mean, how cute are those? Here's a look at me beginning to put away everything into one of the cabinets. And you can see that I am having a conversation with the client as I'm doing that. It's always a game of Tetris to figure out exactly how well things will work. And I'm always strategizing how to put things away based on what I learn about the client. And it's really hard sometimes when I make these very short videos to communicate exactly what the client's needs are and why we set up things the way that we do. I wish I could explain that in full detail as much as I could, but you know, we're with our clients for five or six hours at a time and it's just not possible given the scope of what I need to accomplish and that honestly I am just setting up the tripod and filming myself. So you're just getting a little bit of the picture there. Uh, here I am decluttering and organizing a cabinet that had some spices and oils and things like that as well as some food. And I always ask our clients to uh, hear their thoughts about expiration dates and make decisions based on what they would like me to do. I asked the client also how she would feel about removing all of those holiday cards and putting them in a keepsake album. Whenever I can create visual simplicity for a family, I want to do that. I never want to take away the personality of the space, but if it's possible to remove visual clutter, then heck yeah, I want to do that. Here's another look at the pups and some of the items that we were going to be donating and as well as tossing. One cool thing that I set up for clients so often is that I'll set up a free donation pickup from their home. This is something that is offered really easily here in Southern California and that just makes the whole process even more seamless for the client. So back to why this is so meaningful. In talking with the client, I learned that her daughter, who is the same age as my daughter, has a rare genetic disorder that is also fatal. It's called Neiman Pick Type C. And the client runs a nonprofit called called Hope for Marion, named after her daughter, in order to raise awareness and help out families who are affected by Neiman Pick Type C. I got a chance to meet Marion and she was so full of light and life. She told me that she wants to be a pop star like Taylor Swift when she grows up as well as a scientist. And I just absolutely loved her energy. She really enjoyed getting to watch me organize. She was only there for a small part of the time that I was there, but absolutely loved it. I'll be posting another video in the future where we come back to organize Marion's room. I was so moved by working working with this client and learning about her advocacy work as well as meeting her daughter that I decided that my team would donate our time and our resources to organize her room, Marion's room for free because I really wanted to give back to this family beyond what I was doing here in the kitchen. Here's a look at me trying to sort and organize different cords. I know I've received some comments saying these should not be in the kitchen, but this is what worked for the family and this is what they asked me to do. So sometimes the decisions that you see me making here are not my decisions alone. They are informed by the needs of that family and what makes the most sense for them. And I like to remind people of that who watch my videos that it may not make sense for you, but as long as it makes sense to the client and it's really easy for them to maintain and really, really functional for them, that's what matters most. And wow, was that a huge change in what the drawers had started with. I then did a light cleaning of all 
all of the surfaces in the kitchen. You know how I am. I've got to have at least some level of cleanliness there. And so I did that on both sides of the kitchen. Let's take a look at all of the incredible before and afters. One of the things I want you to notice is that the changes are rather subtle. But you know what? It doesn't have to be a huge reality makeover type of situation for it to be really, really meaningful for the client. And now they have a beautiful and functional space.